Hello and welcome. For those of you who are familiar with Yorkshire parking, you'll know that this sticky and robust ginger cake just gets better with age. And it's a combination of black treacle or molasses and ginger along with the oat crunch that gives it its unique taste and texture. Grease an 8 by 8 inch baking tin and then line it with parchment paper. Then preheat your oven to 300 degrees Fahrenheit, that's 150 degrees Celsius. And to get started with the ingredients, measure out one and a half cups of steel cut oats and blitz them in a food processor. They should break down and become finer but still retain some of their graininess. Then in a large mixing bowl, add in 3 quarter cups of all purpose flour, add in the oats and a quarter teaspoon of salt along with one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Add in 2 teaspoons of ground ginger. 1 teaspoon of allspice and a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg and give it all a good mix. And then we move on to making the sugar mixture. Into a small pan then add in half a cup of butter and then add in one cup of brown sugar and two thirds of a cup of black treacle or if like me you can't get hold of it, use molasses and then a quarter cup of golden syrup now I had this shipped in from the UK but if you don't have this then use the same quantity of corn syrup and then continue to stir the mixture until you have a smooth and rich syrup taking care not to let it come to a boil and then remove it from the heat and just let it cool down for about five minutes or so and then the next step is to pour the warm mixture into the dry ingredients and give it a good stir Then add in the remaining ingredients, so that's a quarter cup of crystallised ginger pieces and one lightly beaten egg and two tablespoons of milk. Again give that a good stir to combine all of the ingredients. And now your batter is ready to be poured into the baking tin. So pop it in the oven on the middle shelf and bake for approximately 1 hour and 15 minutes. Once the parking's out of the oven, leave it to cool for a few minutes. Then carefully turn it over face down onto a cutting board and remove the baking tray or tin and then peel off the parchment paper. At this point, leave the cake to breathe for about 10 to 15 minutes and then come back to it and cut into equal sized squares. If stored in an airtight container, this will keep for about two weeks. 
Now without doubt the toughest part of this recipe is that it needs to be stored for two to three days before it can be eaten. And the reason for that is that it takes that long for the flavours to fully fuse and for that signature sticky texture. So store it and don't touch it until it's ready. And as always, thank you for watching.